Uh, I'm Bruce Avery. I'm a student assistant to the administrative office. So I am leading a student-led petition to try and get the campus to, or try and get as many signatures as possible uh, to show student support for the library to help get the library some funding. A lot of the students have said uh, the carpeting needs to be replaced, uh, the furniture needs to be updated, electrical sources on the second floor need to be repaired or replaced. We also have broken power outlets and clocks, stuff like that. Also, the, we'd like more funding so that we could get um, uh, an expanded book collection through ebooks and buying more books. And some of the health students would like updated um, models for the muscular and circulatory systems like of the human body, those types of models and everything. Um, every day when I'm at work, all the third floor individual quiet study rooms are packed because people really want the individual quiet study space. And since um, the renovation of Brown with all those faculty and residents uh, being moved to the quiet study on the ground floor in the library, we've lost that giant quiet study space that we've had. Uh, and so I'd, one of the things for me is I'd love to see um, improved quiet study spaces and more options available for quiet study space. So the different ways that I've been trying to get signatures are showing up to lots of different people's classes just for a minute or two to try and petition the class to get some signatures. Um, I'm be, going to be tabling in the union pretty soon to try and get signatures just from people passing by in the union. After Thanksgiving break, I'll be collecting all the uh, signatures back from everyone. Once I have it, I'll be going to the BSG office to see if they are willing to take this forward. And if they're not as enthusiastic about it as I would like, I'll just take it to the Library Advisory Council where I know that they're going to uh, put the effort behind it to really make a push for it. Although I would really like it to come through BSG because then it's coming from the students, through the students, all the way through. It's entirely student-led. Meanwhile, if it's through the Library Advisory Council, it's going to have faculty saying, look at these are what, this is what the students want, um, so it won't be as effective as the students saying this is what we want, um, which is the whole point of it being student-led for students um, without with minimum faculty involvement.